This is the the OTC cylinder leakage tester kit. Five six oh nine part number. You get your you get your fittings. Uh, M ten. M twelve. And M eighteen. And you get the actual gauge. And you get the hose. And you get the hose. Great quality box. Nice latches. Sturdy plastic. It's not bad for what you get. So, this side, obviously. Ruby, Ruby, right? It's my cat, Ruby. This side obviously connects to the quick coupling. Then your air is going to be over here with your regulator. Don't go past 100 psi. I should have to be telling me that, but you never know. <clears throat> and this is pretty much for when when you're having a compression loss and you can't figure out where it's going so you stick this on there on each cylinder and find out what percentage you're losing so it's pretty nice constructed brass aluminum I don't think these are liquid filled gauges I think it's just air but they don't jump around or anything that's nice it's good quality comes with PTFE everywhere it's a well-made tool. It's pretty solid. So, and this is the this is the instructions for it, where you can tell how much percent, what percent, anyways, that you're leaking. You don't want it more than ten percent on a cylinder. Anything more than that's a problem. So, I'll give you. a a steady view on that so if you have any questions or whatever just hit me up so it tells you what's what percentage everything say if your uh, if your compressor is running 100 psi and your right hand gauge is reading 93 you're gonna come down that's gonna be seven percent leakage if your, let's say your compressor is running at 75 psi, and your right hand gauge is reading 67.5, that's 10% leakage in the cylinder. That's how you know your battery gets low and the light shuts off. <laughs> so, anyways, that's a that's a quick look at the OTC cylinder leakage tester kit what it does, how it's constructed the fittings that come with it so that's how that works your your shop air will connect into here then your actual tester will We'll go into here. If I can do it with one hand, so like it's happening. And then your, and then your fittings are gonna screw onto this side here. So that's a quick look. My phone's dying, so I try to try to give everyone the new techs a heads up that you don't need to buy Snap on everything to be a mechanic. You don't need a ten thousand. Or a hundred thousand dollar toolbox to be a mechanic. It's not the box, it's the tools inside of it. So, have a nice day.